Now it's become more and more common for laptops to be non-upgradable by the user. What, am I, what do I mean by that? Well, they're soldering the RAM and in some cases, even the SSD. Forget about the Wi-Fi card and anything else. Upgradability has become a thing of the past. Well, not really because there's still a few laptops out there that allow you to upgrade yourself. And that's a great thing, especially if you're a business user, a average user who wants to be able to have a laptop longer than a couple of years. They wanna be able to grow with the laptop, expand out the RAM, expand out the storage. Well, the next laptop I'm about to show you is a laptop that you can upgrade. Now that is the HP EliteBook 840 G9. Now HP sent this over to me late last year and I didn't get to it uh, right away because I got inundated with so many devices, but I'm glad I gave it its proper review here because this is an excellent laptop with a beautiful full HD plus display, all metal design. It's a natural silver color. It doesn't show a lot of fingerprints and it has really great build quality. But the best part about this is, of course, is the fact you can upgrade the RAM, the SSD, the Wi-Fi card, and even the optional 5G card. We're going to get into it in more in this excellent big business focused laptop. Hey everybody, it's Andrew, and this is my review of the HP EliteBook 840 G9. Coming up. Now, before we get to the unit itself, I just want to let everybody know in the interest of transparency and full disclosure, I'm not being paid by HP. I'm not being sponsored by HP. All the opinions you're about to hear are my own. HP is not getting copy approval. That means you're seeing this video for the first time, just like you. Now, this review unit is on loan from HP. And once this review is done, I'll be sending it back. The EliteBook 840 G9 has a pretty hefty starting price of $2,197 US. Now that is a pretty high price tag, but of course, as you know, HP does run a lot of sales and drastically reduces the prices every now and then. So for the latest pricing, make sure you check out the link in the description below. And the other thing to keep in mind regarding the price is that businesses tend to buy these in bulk and do receive pretty significant discounts from HP. And with the specs and pricing out of the way, let's find out what you get inside the box. Let's open it up. Pretty heavy duty tape they're using here today. All right, so what you're gonna get with these Elite Books, and I, and I can tell you right now, you're gonna get the high quality, all aluminum design. You're gonna get the rock solid build on it. So it's gonna have the military grade rating, that stuff, you know, undergoing a lot of tests, all that kind of stuff. So you get some documentation and they gave us some broadband here. So I'm going to have to check this out. Um, some of the broadband here. Let me cover that. But it uh, looks like it's AT&T, but I believe it's going to be unlocked. So you can use it with other carriers. So again, some warranty information, documentation, important product information. Let's, let's file this to the side for now. And, you know, we've seen this charger before right so this is the 65 watt super compact super lightweight charger here you can see it here um and i love the braided cable here right so when you get the braided cable less snagging less chances of it ripping so that's always good you don't want to do have any of that those problems USB-C, of course and then you get your power charger so those two are uh very travel friendly now holding the unit for the first time the build quality is excellent this all metal design really is very solid and this natural silver color shows hardly any fingerprints so that's been pretty good as well and chassis rock solid without very little give or flex so very good in that regard and yes, you can open the lid with one finger and the screen folds back 180 degrees, giving you the perfect viewing angle each and every time. Hinges on really well, nice and tight, very little screen wobble. And as far as the keyboard itself is concerned, I absolutely love it. The tactility, the feedback, the key travel, all really working well. Very comfortable to type on for extended periods of time. And it has a multi-stage backlight that allows you to get work done in a dark room or a dimly lit environment and the keys light up white against the black key so easy to see the contrast between the two and here's what it sounds like when you're typing on it
and it has a pretty nicely sized glass precision touchpad that has really good responsiveness when it comes to scrolling and when it comes to gestures, all worked well. Okay, let's check out the port selection. Let's start off on the left side where you get an HDMI 2.0 port and a USB-A port, which is full size. I love to see that. Two USB-C Thunderbolt 4 ports that are full function, supporting data, charge, and display out. And then you get your smart card reader. Now, moving over to the right side is the SIM tray for the optional 5G. Next to that is the Kensington lock port and a USB-A port. And finally, a 3.5 millimeter microphone headphone combo jack to round out the ports on this laptop notably missing there's no LAN port there's no sd card reader but i would say overall a pretty good port selection now to get inside this laptop all you need to do is loosen the captive phillips head screws there are five of them use a guitar pick or pry tool to pry off the bottom plate and you're in it's that easy and there's good news once you're inside this laptop, you'll notice that the RAM has some RAM slots so you can upgrade that. The SSD is upgradable, the Wi-Fi card is upgradable, and the optional 5G modem is upgradable, all accessible to the user. Now, as far as that RAM itself, it's using DDR5 RAM running at 4,800 megahertz. And my review unit has 16 gigabytes of RAM, but this can, is capable of going up to 64 gigabytes to 32 gigabyte sticks, which is really great. We love to see that here. Early 2023 upgradability is the name of the game. Now, as far as the SSD, PCIe Gen 4 SSD speeds, as you can see from these reads and writes, really good. Now, as far as the wireless is concerned, good news on that front, you're looking at Wi-Fi 6E along with Bluetooth 5.3 combo card, and it's not soldered in. So if you have to change it out down the road, you have that option. And you have the mobile broadband option, which I love to have here. I have it here on this unit, and you can get it with either the Intel XMM 7560R Plus LT Advanced Modem. That's a CAT16 modem, or you can go with Intel 5000 5G solution. So very good in terms of having mobile broadband on this unit okay let's talk about the display and it's excellent we're looking at a 14 inch full hd plus ips display with a resolution of 1920 by 1200 and for those keeping score that's 162 pixels per inch and this is a non-glossy display it's a matte display so you don't get a lot of that glare reflection so that's been pretty good it's also a bright display i measured 376 nits so it's going to be good for both indoor and outdoor scenarios so pretty good and especially because it's not glossy you'll see a lot more more outdoors as well contrast is really good 1050 to one good white point really good black level of 0.34 and it has a pretty low delta e score of 1.39 meaning anything below two is considered color accurate so this will not disappoint and when it comes comes to the coverage of the color gamut you're looking at 100 percent srgb 73 percent adobe rgb 73 percent of the dcip3 wide color gamut and 67 percent ntsc so what does that mean well if you're content creator that does Lightroom, Photoshop, video editing, color grading. It's a decent choice. I've seen better out there, but for the business user that is doing Word documents, spreadsheets, and the like, this is going to be really good. Now, consuming media has been really good. Watching Netflix, Amazon, YouTube, no issues on either front. And as far as those sensitive to screen flickering or PWM, the good news is I didn't detect any. So that's been pretty good. Now, a couple of things to note, there's no 4K option, there's no OLED option, which would have been nice, but of course, that would have been at the sacrifice of battery life, which we'll get to in a little bit, but I would say my overall takeaway is this is an excellent Full HD Plus panel for getting work done. You won't be disappointed. Okay, so this is the front-facing camera on the HP EliteBook 840 G9, and what I like about it, of course, not only being a 5 megapixel IR camera means you can log in with face recognition, but it also has a physical shutter switch on it. So if you need more security and privacy, you have that. There's also a fingerprint scanner located below the keyboard on the right side. There is the HP presence and has auto frame. Let's turn it on. So what it does is it allows you to stay in frame and you have the option of an upper body only. So that gives you a little bit more uh, field of view and then head and shoulders the middle one, I guess, and then just focusing on the head area. Auto detection, 
uh, auto lighting, all those things that HP has been really killing it in terms of the cameras the last year or so. So they've been done a great job here, and this is no exception. This is 1440p video at 30 frames per second. So that's what a 5 megapixel HP presence camera brings to the table. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in that comment section below. Now, when it comes to performance, this is running the Core i7-1280p that has 14 cores, eight efficiency cores, and six performance cores. So really good stepped up performance here on this 840 G9. As you can see from the benchmark results here, you're seeing really good single core and multi-core performance. And when you compare it to others in this category, certainly holds its own in both the single and multi-thread performance here. And they did a really good job. Now, as far as doing everyday tasks such as Microsoft Office, email, web browsing it all worked well now as far as watching movies netflix amazon youtube it's been great and as far as the game here and there yes you can play the occasional game here and there if you lower some of the settings now one thing to note is of course it has integrated iris xe graphics there's no discrete gpu so don't expect to play the AAA titles on their highest settings and as i mentioned in prior videos the iris xe graphics are a little bit long in the tooth i'm curious to see what the 13th gen will have to offer here in 2023 as far as upgraded graphics we'll have to see but the occasional game here and there definitely doable now the thermals were actually pretty good on this it didn't throttle too much when it was under heavy load and i didn't notice it getting overly hot in terms of the surface temperatures remaining relatively cool and the fan will kick in under heavy load but never going above 38 39 decibels so they did a good job in keeping it cool and quiet the EliteBook 840 G9 sports a three cell 51 watt hour battery and it did nine hours and 27 minutes on the PC Mark 10 modern office battery test. And that basically is a blend between video conferencing, writing, and of course, web browsing, throwing a little bit of idle time. It's basically simulating what a work day would be for the average user. So this is a pretty accurate test in my experience and nine hours and 27 minutes is actually pretty decent in terms of the result. Now they do include a 65 watt USB type C power charger in the box and it takes about 90 minutes to give you a full charge. Not too bad. Now, one thing that has been a pleasant surprise has been the audio. We're looking at Bang & Olufsen tuned speakers, and I thought they sounded pretty good. Mids were good, volume was good, the bass was decent, and had overall good volume in terms of filling up the room. So I'd say really good. Now, to give you an example, let's listen to Epidemic Sound. And remember, if you want to save 10% off Epidemic Sound, see the link in the description below. Now, let's give this a listen. Okay, people, let's bring it on home. What do I think about the HP EliteBook 840G9 here as we begin? 2023 in january of course and what i love about it is the fact that you got really good upgradability here the ram the ssd the wi-fi card and the wireless wan it's all upgradable by the user and that to me is excellent outstanding keyboard and touchpad bright sharp 14 inch display five megapixel webcam in terms of getting your video conferencing done that has been pretty good quiet under heavy load never getting overly hot they did a decent job with the thermals the performance performance has been very good on this with that 12th gen processor i expect this to get outfitted with 13th gen at some point here in 2023 negatives of course no 4k option no oled option which would have been nice but on a business laptop not essential so i understand why they went with that they wanted to get that better battery life and no ethernet port 
or SD card slot, which would have been nice. Now, the overall takeaway I have here is if you're in the market for a really good, solid business class laptop, this is the way to go. This is gonna compete with the likes of the X1 Carbon Gen 10 and the 11, which we have upcoming here in 2023. So that is who it's going up against. And I think they do a really good job here. And I have no hesitation recommending the EliteBook 840 G9 here in 2023. So what do you think about this bad boy, the 840 G9, all metal design, really good in every regard. I don't think there's any negatives here other than the fact it, get, it can get a little bit expensive. But of course, as I mentioned, HP sells these in bulk to businesses. They tend to give some pretty significant discounts and they also run a lot of sales slashing the prices pretty significantly. So make sure you hit that link in the description below for the latest pricing. This is a great all around business laptop. This will compete with the likes of the X1 Carbon line from Lenovo and their ThinkPads and also from Dell's Latitude line. This will definitely compete. So if you're in the market for a really solid business laptop with a 14 inch display, this might be your choice, especially if you want some upgradability, especially if you want decent battery life, this is the one to look at. But I'm curious to know what you think. Let me know in that comment section below. So please hit the like button, please subscribe, please share this video. Don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section below. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know if there's a device or something out there you think I should review. I'll do my best to try to make that happen. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and of course, my website, amdtechreviews.com. So until next time, this is Andrew from AMD Tech. See ya.